want to quit your job and still pay the bills. I'm not going to lie to you. Most of you aren't going to be able to do this. Honestly, if I had to guess, I'd say maybe 10% of you can pull this off. So I'm here to talk to you, the 10%. Yeah, you, the person watching this video, probably sitting at your desk, staring at your computer, daydreaming about telling your boss, I quit, bitch. But then you remember those damn bills. Yeah, I know, we all have bills and we need to figure out how we can pay them and still quit. So before you quit, we need a plan. First, we need to figure out how much money you need to live off of. This is very simple to calculate. Go into your bank account and look at your monthly statements for your checking account or the credit cards you mostly use. I only use my credit cards because I earn a ton of points and it's way safer than a debit card. But this works the same way. And if you use multiple credit cards or debit cards, add all the statements up for the last six months. Then you can divide it by six for your average. That's how much you spend every month. The total for your six months is also the amount you need to have saved. That number will include rent, food, Netflix, even that sneaky coffee habit. So before you leave your job, you need to have that six month emergency fund to help. You can also cut unnecessary expenses. Like that gym membership you and I both know you never use. And while you're looking through your bank account or credit card statements, check for the reoccurring subscriptions. And if you don't use it, cancel it. We also need to start planning for alternative income streams. You're looking at mine, so why am I not looking at yours? Oh yeah, that's right. Because you're too afraid to become a social media influencer. Listen, I started this channel using my cell phone and my laptop. So you have no excuses. We all have something that makes us interesting. So cut the camera on and talk about it. Because who knows, your camera phone could make you millions of dollars. You've just been too afraid to start. And another alternative income job is substitute teaching. It's kind of like a job, but not really. I did this for years. You show up the day you want by accepting jobs online for different schools. And if you don't feel like going to work for a week, a month, six months, who cares? You're just a substitute teacher. You can also drive for Uber or DoorDash or do the retail arbitrage thing, which basically means you buy cheap stuff at Marshalls or any of these discount stores and then you flip it on eBay or other sites. The beautiful thing about this is you can look up how much the things are selling for on your phone on the internet and if the stuff doesn't sell you can take it back to the store and return it i love retail arbitrage but i do it at the luxury level what that means is when things go on sale and they rarely do in expensive stores but usually after the holidays they have sales like Saks fifth birth off goodman bloomingdale's and i buy the designer shoes and i sell them on ebay for a profit i never flip shoes for less than $100 in profit. And if the shoes don't sell, I return them to the store. And no, I will not be doing a video on this because I don't need you competing with me. I already gave you free game. Do with that what you want, but say you don't wanna buy stuff and flip it. You can just sell the stuff in your house. I've helped my friends sell all kinds of stuff because I have a credible profile on eBay. Things like strollers they don't need, camera equipment, Obviously shoes, clothes, all types of things. They just send me the pictures I posted on my account and when it sells, I keep a percentage. Honestly, you could actually do this as a business if you were interested in it. Another alternative gig job is Fiverr or Upworth. I've bought business plans on there. I've had interior designers design this background on this room. I've had people fix my business website, YouTube editors, and thumbnail designers, all on Fiverr or Upwork. And if I wanted to, I could get paid to be a YouTube channel manager. The only problem is you'd have to pay me too much to stop working on my channel to work on yours, which is why it doesn't make sense for me to do it. So quitting your job is possible. In fact, my friend Lisa 
quit her corporate job to start a dog walking business. And now she's happier, healthier, and making bank. She's also planning to open up a dog daycare facility. Dogs can stay overnight, and she plans to hire a doggy groomer, so it'll be a one-stop shop. And let me be clear, you are not going to quit your job and life just be easy the next day. That's not reality. Mistakes will be made, and mistakes will be learned from. But Lisa's story and my story prove that it's possible. Really just Lisa's story, because I actually like my job, but I'm at the point that if I didn't like my job, I could afford to quit. Last but not least, let's talk about staying motivated. This journey isn't going to be easy, but it's worth it. Set realistic goals and celebrate your wins, but more importantly, learn from your losses. Surround yourself with supportive people who believe in your vision and when things get tough, because they will, remember why you started and that tough times don't last, tough people do. Keep your eye on the prize and don't let setbacks derail you. You got this and if you ever feel like giving up, just come back and watch this video on how people dumber than you are making millions.